is Elizabeth Kachemere. I'm a naturopath. I am going to speak about natural medicine and access to naturopathy and how it can help you in your life to live a better life, a healthier life, and a bit more balanced and just look after your wellness. Thank you. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Elizabeth. Elizabeth, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very well, thanks. Now, Elizabeth. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very well, thanks. Now, Elizabeth is what we call a naturopath, and she's the founder and CEO of a company called Hutano, which is acronyms for meaning Have You Thought About Natural Health? options now she works with women and men who are looking for effective um, natural uh, thyroid support and she uses natural medicine options where they offer um you know uh, alternative methods now she has over 20 years in in the pharmaceutical industry and she's also a qualified naturopath and employs methods and processes that are evidence-based and are individualized to you personally. Now, Elizabeth, did I say any of that right? Yes, you did. Very, very precise. I like that. <laughs> very well, thanks. Now, tell us a little bit about your story and how you, um, you know, became um, a naturopath and, you know, what, what that has done, um, you know, in, in terms of creating the person you are today. Um, when I was 16 or 17, I, my, my youngest sister was born asthmatic our baby sister and she has always been in and out of hospital and my mom heard that there was a biochemist at uh, University of Zimbabwe who was doing um, a study on asthmatics and so she got my sister enrolled in it mm -hmm. and so she when my sister went in she was um, Dr. Gush his name was Dr. Gush so he worked with my sister and changed her diet and got her onto some supplements and a few other things and because I was the eldest, I always used to stay back with her. And so I was realizing that we, we are using less and less of the inhalers and less and less of the other medications she was on. And um, within no time, she wasn't really needing it. She was starting to run around. She was starting to swim and she didn't have any, any attacks anymore. As we speak, she lives in Calgary, which is one of the coldest places in the world. And she hasn't had an asthmatic attack for so long. So from that age, I knew that our nutritional medicine works. Um, and so I had an ambition to become a nutritionist when I finished school. But in Zimbabwe, there was no university degree for a nutritionist. But so, and then I went in to do a diploma in pharmacy back home so that I could get into the health industry. And so when, we, when I came to Australia in 1999, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I didn't change my qualifications. I went straight into uni to do a degree in nutrition. I then changed it to a degree in naturopathy. And hence, I'm here. <laughs> Understandable. The journey. Understandable. That is such a journey and it, it stems from passion and also the personal need for you to make sure that the health of your sister was in check. Now, for those that don't quite understand what nat naturopathy really is, can you just give us a brief explanation of what it is that you do day to day within your business and the sort of people that you actually help? Um, I'll give you an example of somebody that comes in who's maybe seeing a doctor and they've got um, low thyroid function and they're still not able to lose weight, they're still feeling tired, although they may be on medication and doing other things and maybe they're not sleeping well. So when they come in, um, I do an hour where we actually talk and then I take the history and really find out what's going on and look at their, med their results that they may have like blood tests or, and see what, what, what they have, what results are there and then also see the where they're not functioning properly. So if they've got a low thyroid function and they're not um, losing weight, so it means their metabolism is not functioning, right? So we look at what they're eating. Um, is there any inflammation anyway? Sometimes um, in, with uh, th low thyroid function, there could be underlying issues like Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease as well. So we really look at them and see, look at the whole person and see is where are other things could be wrong that maybe the doctor may not have had a chance to ask them or they may not have told them in the first place. And so we look at the, the whole person, are they sleeping, are they eating, are they exercising, are they 
very happy. They could be depressed and they're not, you know, not doing anything. They can't exercise because they're depressed. They don't want to do it. So we really look at them and see what's going on. And then we go to study their, their blood test as well and see what's going on. We may request some more. Like with the thyroid function, I may request for other things like uh, reverse um, T3 or what your T3 levels and T4 levels are. These are hormones that we all make in as far as the thyroid function is concerned. And then look to see what their diet is like. Iodine is one of the, of the nutrients we need in our bodies to make the thyroid work. So we might do an iodine test as well to see if their diet is actually meeting the needs of that, right? And so we really look at all the things that we need to make sure your thyroid is functioning and then check to see, are you actually covering all your bases to make that function? So it's basically almost like functional medicine, right? And so now if that's not functioning, then we look to see where is their shortage? Where is their deficiency? Where can we actually come in and help you? So we either put you on, um, on supplements for that and also maybe change your diet so that you are actually eating the right foods to stimulate your, imu your immune system or to reduce if it's over-functioning or to stimulate your metabolism so that you are actually, you start to feel like you want to be active, you want to exercise, you want to sleep better. And then also maybe talk to you so that you can make some few life changes, but also help you to actually identify where your responsibility with that is. And so that we empower you to make the right decisions and so that you can actually see the change in your life. That's how I would work with somebody with a low thyroid function. So it's really, and then I, um, once we've started treating them, then we get them to come in maybe every fortnight for a start to see how they are taking it up. And then after that, maybe see them once a month. If they're picking and they're okay and we're seeing the changes, maybe see them after six weeks after that. And slowly we see them maybe once every eight weeks until you know they've lost the amount of weight they want and then they're actually feeling much better and then they, they, they feel better in themselves and you know they go on because you've empowered them to actually manage their life understandable and then well, we still don't stop them what the doctor has prescribed we actually work together i work with doctors sometimes i tell them what i'm doing with their clients we communicate i'm very open with that we communicate because at the end of the day we are a team that's helping this person to feel better Understandable. So it's a whole comprehensive, um, you know, looking at that person's well-being individually, because if you're going to be taking their particular blood test or results, you are looking at them specifically. It's no longer a cookie cutter saying, oh, just because you've got a headache, just drink some aspirin. Okay. So it's, it's yes, something yes. That's totally different. Now, precisely. Yes. Yes. Now, nat nat naturopathy is said to have evolved sort of out of, um, you know, healing traditions. And um, one of your beliefs is that nutrition is an important component to, um, you know, somebody's well-being. Now, as entrepreneurs or as people that are living a busy life, um, how detrimental is it really for somebody not to watch what they eat and in, in, in their whole well-being because we're living in a fast life maybe we just eat fast food and just get it over and done with how important is nutrition um, in, in in somebody's well-being that you work with it's very important as i always say i say we are chemistry on fit because basically if you come think of it it's all about chemical chemical reactions that is happening in our bodies so it really depends what chemicals are you putting in your system so that you get this equation, right? Which is you, the person. So what you eat today is probably making the next prosper in the next month or two, right? You get new skin cells every 30 days, right? So if you start to eat well today, you're feeding yourself with vitamin C, with vitamin E, with all the nutrients that you need for a good skin. In 30 days, you're going to start to see the, the evidence of that. So nutrition is very important. As they say, you are what you eat. And as, we, as, we, as the body changes, you make new cells, we need to give it the right ingredients to make the person, right? And those ingredients are coming from what we're eating, right? So if we're not eating properly, and, we, and there is, of course, now the issue of food production as well. How is the food produced? How is the food stored? And then we eat it. So there's other, maybe two aspects of it we can't really control, the production and the storage. We can't really control that. But we can at least choose to say, okay, I choose to make sure that the vegetables or the fruits I look a little bit 
fresher, then I can, you know, at least the nutrients might still be in there. You know what I mean? And then maybe get a lot more out of it. And also the cooking of it also is important. If you're going to overcook, then you have issues, right? Because you've, you, you know, you've already changed the chemical nature of that, whatever you're cooking, you've overcooked it. Instead of being green, it's, it's you know, it's brownish. Already you, you've overcooked something in there. You've already messed up a little bit of the chemistry in there. So that, that's how I look at it. Nutrition is really important. And the way we keep our food, the way we produce it, the way we cook it, and then we eat. So eating is probably the last of that whole process of it, of which a lot of us don't think about it that way, right? No, not at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that reminds me of you telling me off yesterday of things that I should have eaten. <laughs> and, and I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't properly looking after my body, but in the way that you, you work, okay. You want to work with somebody right from the, from, from the beginning and assess their health. And then up until the end is exercise a good component, um, you know, to include in anybody's daily habit. Definitely, definitely exercise. Not only does it help us to feel good and, you know, and, and, and keep it, a well-maintained structure, but it also helps us to, to, to even it produces what we call endorphins. So it actually keeps uh, depression away, you know, it makes you feel that good. And then the sweat and everything that is you sweat, you're also releasing a lot of, you know, a lot of the rubbish that you may have in your system as it clears up. And then you feel better, you sleep better. And when you eat, because your metabolism is ongoing all the time, if you exercise, you feel much better with that. Understandable. So if people have been listening to this show and they've gotten a bit of an understanding of what it is that you do and they now want to take a natural approach, uh, you know, to life using, you know, naturopathy, how can people get a hold of you there, Liz? Um, I've got a website, mutano.com.au. They can send us an email at info at mutano.com.au. My Facebook page is Liz. Uh, naturopath at hutano.com at hutano natural health solutions um i also am on uh, linkedin i am also on twitter <laughs> so i use quite a lot of social media i'm sure you can find me somewhere <laughs> okay and you can I'll... just email it or info yeah. yes i will put in all those um uh, details at the and bottom then in there. Melbournians, just before you go i've got a seminar coming up this weekend for women uh, it's called uh, Women from Puberty to Menopause. So we'll be talking about women's hormones, how they feel, what's going on, and, you know, just for them to feel much better. And it's just $25 per person. It's on Eventbrite as well. Understandable. This is coming in in Melbourne, is it? Yes, in Melbourne. Understandable. So I yeah. will be giving people details uh, about this seminar, especially, uh, you know, so that we can have other people jumping on and, um, you know, getting information from you. Because um, now I'm talking to the audience and I'm just going to pose this question to you. Have you thought about any natural health options? You might have been trying everything else that's out there in the market and maybe it's not working. And you've heard from Lise. She, um, you know, stemmed her expertise uh, coming from you know, watching her little sister go through tremendous pain with asthma. And then they noticed that actually natural, um, you know, options, natural health options were the ones that were actually working instead of, um, you know, the one size fit all diagnostics or prescriptions that we are getting, um, you know, from other, you know, health sectors there. Now, Liz, I can't thank you enough for your expertise, your knowledge, and also your value that you gave to us on this show today. Is there any last word that you can give to people just so that they get an understanding of what they're actually missing out on if they're not thinking about natural health options? Um, you are what you eat. And it's always good to get good advice from a qualified person so that you're not doing any fads. You know, fad diets mess up with your systems as well. You know, even if you do one consult, but get somebody who knows what they're doing to help you. Understand. Un <laughs> understandable. Thank you so much for your time and um, hope to catch you up when you come around to Melbourne for your uh, conference then. Thank you very much. I'll definitely do that. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>